All right, so we would love to get Biza targeted with something that kills it. Perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, this is exactly what I wanted. This is so good. Now they need to kill it at instant speed and they probably cannot. I want to kill Shelly. I want to survive. I want to live. Oh man, this could not be closer. Our opponent is just... Hello everyone, it's Love here and today finally, finally Azure's control in meta version. I think we all have been wondering what will happen when the Wandering Emperor will leave standard and we don't have our farewells and you know all the cool tools. However, we got an extremely powerful card with Biza the Bounding Spring and as expected this card never disappoints. But there's one more synergy that this card provides, it creates tokens and as we know if you want to bargain <laughs> you came to the right place because Farsight Ritual is all for it. This was one of the ways to uh, activate bargain for a very cheap price especially because you can block with the fish and after declaring blocks you can bargain it. That means you basically got the full value from the creature like this one one probably won't kill the shoulder that is charging at you and you get a full eight cards so it's better than the memory deluge with flashback. So combined with the deuce and potentially even you know like even lockdowns if you have the wrong matchup you can always just play it on empty board and then sacrifice it for bargain and suddenly bump lockdown becomes a value card so this gives you a lot of value we still play one silver scrutiny so if you are really in you know need for a heavy cardo you go with varsite ritual you draw the heavy cardo and you are set for the future while also getting probably some sunfalls invocations with the parting gas you can still protect biza or just remove your opponent's creatures so this card is a removal spell that is never a dead card and you know you have some tokens but believe me you will find a non token creature trying to kill you. Uh, that, that's something I've learned. And I think that they would not be complete if we didn't have the absolute legend for the day, Matt Spradlin. Thank you a lot for your support and I hope you will like the deck that is dedicated to you today because I mean Azure's control, that, that's like the perfect price. So thank you man for all your support. I hope you will enjoy it. And with that being said, let's go to ladder and see if we can win some games with Azure's control like in the good old days. Right, we are going first but our hand, well it kind of sucks. <laughs> If we don't draw two lands in a row, we insta GG against everything. If we draw it, I think we are absolutely fine. Let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice. And I'm I'm scared, man. I can remove two cards and that's it. Later I die. Okay, okay, we are good at magic. Thank God. <laughs> right? That's good. So tiny bones can be fully ignored. It's not a creature we absolutely we care even a little. Man, this creature has such a bad stat that when we kill it with this, we actually create a better creature just with the side effect. Uh, so this will be a discard, it seems. We can go for Jace. I don't love this play. I think we want the Gust. Oh, the greed. I can feel like the greed is consuming me and the greed just clicked done. <laughs> I really don't think we should go there, but we will go there because I like my value, you know? Hopeless, man, this is perfect. Are we so optimistic that we just win on board that we can discard our win com? Man, the greed is absolute. Like, I just took the card. That's that's the third card in my hand. We basically don't play anything else. They cannot cast it yet. So, um, let's wait until the end step. I want to make sure that they don't play anything else. And, well, here's your fish. You earned the tiny bones. We laughed, and then we removed it. As you can see, the effect from Tiny Bones, as I mentioned before, is absolutely strong, so obviously we have to remove it. Easy. <laughs> if I discarded Farsight Ritual, as I should, I, I wouldn't be forced to do this, but the grit is just overwhelming. I have literally zero options except drawing cards here. Sure. Uh, so let's go, and let's start drawing our actual value for this. So this is a 3-drop with... Oh man, Biza. 
Oh, I cannot refuse it and get lost because they, we need to remove everything they play. Right, land, extremely great draw. Man, we get the full value, right? Oh man, this, this card is absolutely broken. I don't consider treasure a value, so you know, I just always forget about this part of effect. But life game, creatures and cardio, most of all, is... Man, I'm so happy. And now we can use the fish to bargain the ritual, if that wasn't enough. Please, do respect my fish. And I don't mind raiding. Well, we have just more of everything at this point. And Charlotte is probably their best play. Let's see if they play land into Shelly. And we don't even care them. Tiny bones. All right. All right. And I kind of want the land. But I will still discard it. We have a decent chance to draw a land. All right, man. They are really serious about the, their tiny bone stuff, you know. Uh, I could draw a land, and I think we will. The greed continues. It never stops, and the tap is absolutely awful, but fortunately, uh, I was saved by a correct mana, because I actually needed white mana. I should tap this and get an, uh, you know white source. So that was a big blunder. Uh, if I wasn't lucky, it would make a huge difference. The cool play for them is that they can first attack the tiny... Oh, right. You need to cast it after it deals damage, right? Whenever you may cast... Yes, yeah, so from that player's graveyard. Yep. They want this juicy Jace. And you know what? We say no. I'm sorry, Tiny Bones. Please stop, stop being my nightmare. And after the run thing, I, I, I have... A little bit of uh, anxiety against tiny balls. All right, they draw a lot of cards. They're greedy as well, but I don't think that oh, this hurts a little bit. All right, it has to be this one, but that also means we draw cards with Biza and we live game, and that should be good enough value. Drawing card is a big deal already. Insane good draw. This is the last piece we needed, but we need to untap, so it's not over. We need to untap, we need to survive this turn. If they just remove Biza, I'm all for it. By the way, that's triple nightmare already. Shelly. I probably want to draw cards before it hits the board. I mean, it can't, man, imagine if we play Lockdown and they force us to sacrifice it in some way. We discard three cards. That's, that's bad. Oh, they, they, they got the draw. Alright, the draw is far from perfect. There is a chance we will bear game. Alright, so now the real game starts. We have decisions. We have decisions. I think we Farsight Ritual on this. Or we can the Fountain Port as well. Alright, we don't care about his life game. So I can make the decision later. Everything we have is basically an instant. So they want to attack and we probably block with Biza, right? Or we can just block with a fish and then bargain it. Okay, this seems pretty good, but we don't have enough mana. Oh, that would be such a good play. I think we go with uh, just this. So we, we could also take the damage for the turn. With Biza, it's not such a big deal, I guess. All right, you got it. We can block later. It's it's a lot of damage. Like, uh, it's a little bit risky. Man, that's the fourth one. <laughs> All right, I think we can go with the lockdown. I don't think we'll cast it, so I don't mind it even. Sure. Shuffler is fine. Top 20 cards, four of the nightmares. And here's Dakla, the card we actually want to counter spell. So I will definitely do this. I could cast the Biza copy, right? I think that's the best play. We could also draw cards, but we basically get one card positive and with Biza we kinda get the same and more life gain and and that's it, right? Because we only get the life gain. Hmm. Maybe we draw those cards. So we get six damage, we're at three. That feels awful. All right, let's make a copy. And I will take this one. 
because I don't want the token. All right. Let's draw a card. We need some removal. Unfortunately, we are not getting it, which is not amazing. I guess we just make fish and try to block with this. All right, now we block with Pisa. Okay, our opponent is sure that is such a pain if you cannot draw removal. We definitely would love to. Our opponent has what seven mana potentially, so next Aklazot still can get countered with normal eyes. This is something they will get. Double Shelly. I wonder if they take it. If they expect a removal, they want this card. If they hope they that this just stays, uh, they want to you know uh, get it in the graveyard. Non-token creature, huh? That's pretty nice for them. I mean, all right, you got it. Very good card for them in this situation. I'm not super happy about being hit by it. Let's go with the fish. And let's maybe manual tap because we don't want to pain ourselves anymore. We can still draw a card with the clue. I would love to, uh, you know, not be forced to block, but unfortunately we have. So instead of taking 5 damage, we take 1, but we need to pay more mana. We wait until the end step. And unfortunately we need to remove even more stuff. Man, our opponent has every card as he wants. Uh, I could try to remove... You know what? I think this is the moment where we actually need to, you know, uh, do a little bit of stuff. Because if we do it now, uh, I can try to avoid uh, taking two damage from Shelly. If we hit something uh, that is correct. I mean, Sunfall and the land kinda gets the job, but we didn't hit an untapped one. I can Jace and minus two, shorted, so that means four damage. That's something. So Jace into Sunfall is probably a solution. Right? We, man, we could go with Scrutiny. That's so many cards. Can I finish the game on one, Jace? Probably not against the Scries. I don't love this play in all honesty, but this is kind of the best combination for this particular turn. So we draw a card. Wow. <laughs> Alright, why not? Oh, I die, right? Because this will be for the... No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. So you're not dead yet. But it's super close. I think I will be at one. Yeah, because we'll take two at the upkeep and it will be down to one. So, we need to survive this. I want Biza from top, man. I think we have two or three more, right? Yep. Two more. Oh, it hurts. That's a Klazot. Perfect sun for target. And here's my one... Man! Just being good at magic. Alright. I'm Man, I'm so scared. I will just die randomly. And we need uh, the third one from this. And we need... Okay, perfect tap. I mean, we are kinda doing it. Now we need to survive one turn and play Biza. Can I draw a card here? I think we can. I think we can. We have second J, so if we stabilize fully, we should be fine. I just need some options. Okay, this is something. We have a blocker. Just, and we know that he cannot play the Nightmare, right? Because he already played all of them. Well, our opponent is also good at magic. Fortunately, we are a little bit better than, than our opponent. So we can kill this. And let's do it right, okay? <laughs> let's not mess it up. So, if the gift wasn't promised, I want to promise a gift. I want to kill Shelly. I want to survive. I want to live. Oh man, this could not be closer. Our opponent is just, like, absolutely cutthroat about those lethals. Alright, the counter spell. That is a counter spell. Now we have to go for this. I don't want to be on one life anymore, alright? I've had enough. Biza. The perfect way to always stabilize. And now we are starting. They can get some good top decks with the scrying. So we need to still be careful. 
Do we want to try to mill them? Yeah, I, they have a lot of life. I think Jace is a little bit better. If they draw Edict, they are just really good. We can still counter it, but we can give them card advantage that way. We can push quite a lot of damage. Like, 7 on the next turn is a possibility. Alright. Having this one hard counter spell gives me so much, you know, peace of mind in this, at this point. But it's not over. I think we will win. But I'm not fully sure. Fountain Port. Something. But not good enough. Not good enough, right? Because they probably won't... Well, if they draw a card, that's... It's kind of slow. Yeah. They want to see the card and then they will decide if it's worth drawing. Because this will never attack. It can block still. Right. They can block and sacrifice it then. So that's probably a good, good idea. Uh, with 5 life, I don't think they can burst us. Even if they draw the next shard, I think they have at least one in the deck more. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, they went... Man. The second activation is a bit desperate, so I think we are winning. I think they, they don't have options. I also didn't pay any attention to, you know, if they kept on top or not. We will do it now, but I think Explosion is closer and closer. And I think the game is ours with some Biza gaming. <laughs> I told you, this is the card you want to craft for control. At least if uh, you play white control. Probably not as relevant for Demir, you know? Uh, so, five. I mean, sure. We are at plenty of life right now. A land, sure. So, I guess I just attack with everything. I could start drawing cards. By the way, if I mill myself, I'm drawing three cards. And as a control mage, I literally cannot resist this. <laughs> I should not do it, man. I can mill my own Jays, but drawing three cards, like, come on. And we attack with this. They should not block. Alright. Good call. As long as we have this one counter spell, it's fine. And we have a lot of three steps ahead in the deck, right? One. Only one use. So we have still three more there. And one Jays. And that will be enough to finish the game. Uh, so we say go. We have absolute control over the game right now. Our opponent has some hopes, but there, there. I wanted to say something absolutely genius and bright, and here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Here's your hunk for the day. See the backup, the emergency play. Uh, our opponent used all of the hopeless nightmares. He spent 12 mana trying to find one perfect card, and let's see it. I paid zero attention, I have no idea if he found it or not. All I know is that I have a little bit of a counter spell in my hand, and that's probably all I need. They can edict and remove some of the milling, but it's not amazing for them. I wonder if they have some more burn in the deck in some form. Uh, let's get more. I... Alright, I could just demolition field. Oh boy, I'm just not very good at magic. I just realized that, you know, we kind of have Demolition Field against exactly this. They probably want to sacrifice this, but now it means they get more damage. So, you know, they, they are not super happy about this one. They would prefer it in a different way. It also makes our next draw better. We need to be careful, we have 22 cards, uh, but we still have a Jace there, right? Jace? Oh my god, where are you? Jace? Where's my Jace? Are you in the graveyard? One, two. Oh, okay. That's fine. I never counted on Jace too much in this game anyway. Alright, so we will draw another card. And I think now we activate the token and go full offensive. Yeah, this is a nice draw. This will accelerate the fight quite a bit. And as you can see, we are kinda trying to go for the kill right now. I can draw more cards, and if I had, I, I get uh, three steps ahead, we are winning anyway. So we just want to draw counter spells. Not getting them, unfortunately, but it's fine. A lot of lands for sure. First big swing of the game. I hope, I, I my idea was killing him with Jace, but if we are not getting there, we will just, you know, get the other plan. And yeah, 
those lands are extremely slow and we don't want to play them. We have 4 life, 1 get lost against the shorted, so I don't think there's any chance uh, we get burned, and 1 counter spell in the worst case. The Martian field is a nice one for them. I can discard 2 lands, no problem. And yeah, they are not getting value from this, this is kind of the draw. And this might be the first time ever they actually seen a double discard from this card. <laughs> You know, the discard from this card. And they are really going for the play. Sure. So get lost is a little bit better because it doesn't give them the card like this does. So this is emergency play and we don't mind it, but we also don't need it. So we would make a fish and keep pressuring and in two turns they would die. Alright, opponent goes first. We don't love it. Uh, our hand is okay. It's not amazing but it's kind of okay. okay i'll tell you man those two draws that we got completely changed the whole gameplay right now we actually have a perfect opening on this on this part so our opponent seems to be playing a control deck which we really like and let's start with some deducing i wonder if they can uh, kill the artifact i hope they cannot uh, let's go with the archive we have the counter spell so we have nothing nothing to fear here and i don't think we need more lands we need more cardo and more counter spells because if that's a control deck uh, we won't outvalue them all right right i was so you know bamboozled why do you have it on two mana of course the citadel extremely nice synergy with this card uh, and there is a fish if they go for too many fish uh, we'll go biza against the fish and we'll wish them some fish you get the idea <laughs> I don't know, it, it just felt right to say this. So, uh, what do we go for? Do we need 4 mana right now? I think we need some control over the game. Moment, I need to think because we don't have very efficient plays right now. I think we just... Oh, Mirex on top of this. So they will Mirex on this turn. So we need to kind of be aggressive. I actually think we go with this then. Let's go Fountain Port. Theoretically we can create... Oh, we need to discard something. And that's kinda okay. We'll get more. I honestly think it's the, it's the Archive, because we already have the tap land, and this does a little bit more against those tokens, I think. Our opponent really tries to make a lot of stuff at the end step. I wonder what they have for one single mana. What? Ah, huh, bro? I think they can torch something or, or do these kind of things, but they only have creatures, right? So there's no point in killing your own stuff. Yep. Good for them. Good for them. This is good turn. They definitely like this mini play. Yeah, however, we will go into Farsight Ritual and try to start getting some good value. We don't need the bargain. Right now we are, we are happy with this value. Alright, Sunfall is a nice one, it provides the token, and I think the deuce. We have enough lands, so j let's just take the value. Demolition Field is a nice one. Do I want to go with Biza on this turn? Could be nice, honestly, could be nice. And they have 7 cards, so if I play a land into Biza, I think I still draw, right? Nope. No, I'm just... Too good, I have too much stuff. Uh, yeah, they will make more. I think this is a Biza turn. They can kill one of their creatures in response, but that means they cannot probably activate Mirex. So if they react in any way... Yeah, I like this. Man, this is so much value already. So Biza dies, right? But that means no tokens and they kind of lose the pressure because one ones are enough against this. And later we can Sunfall and just make a token that will keep blocking. So we have a lot of time. Definitely Lack of Emperor gives a bit more, more power to Mirex. Uh, but okay, map tokens are okay. So we will get a lot of value. Our opponent really loves to tank at the end step. I don't know how many possibilities he has, but it seems to be plenty. See? Uh, uh, that's what they had. But there was no sense to keep it, because they only had creatures, so there was no target on my side. Alright, that tap land. Only 5 cards to go. 
towards the tower. Absolutely fine, like this feels good for them, but they're not having too much mana. Forge. Forge is definitely a bit of a thing that I didn't want to see on this turn. So our, our opponent absolutely got the perfect, absolutely perfect curve here. So, we can solve this problem, but we just got a new problem. And uh, not perfect, not perfect. So I think we go with one poison. So. Let's go demolition field on this turn. We could get the map tokens, but is it is it even good? I think we just go the deuce. Into what the deuce. Let's start with Demolition Field. Uh, we can kind of prevent the Poison plan this way. But definitely on a bit of a rough side. This for uh, We had full control over the game, but with this Forge we lost it. And that will be a bit annoying. So, uh, double the deuce, I guess. This way we should get some answers. Alright, alright. With Visa we actually have way more life, but this will scale, so that's a big problem. We're okay with this one. And we want as much mana as possible, because we are super mana hungry here. And this should be it, right? They will make a token, token at the end step, probably. Let's start doing some good cards. Like an island. <laughs> Deck, please. Support me a bit more. Okay, okay, this is better. A little bit. A little bit better. So I can go with Jace and we probably have to go with this plan, right? We can only remove one creature though. They can go Bivak into Token. We can kill the Token and then Sandpour. I think this is kind of the plan. I have... I don't need the third mana, right? So we can play the Tapland on this turn if we want. Yep, I think this is the play. Alright, let's sit. Let's sit. The faster we go with the dice, the easier it will be. Hopefully. It might die instantly, but I'll take this risk. It also soaks a lot of damage here. We go for this one to prevent poison. This only prevents the damage. And so this is just superior. Alright, they might make another token. So the Jace will lose loyalty a bit, but I hope not too much. And they still want to target phase because they are at 4 cards, we have 7. And they know that the sweepers are coming. Yep. This is kind of what I expected and hoped for. Uh, because this is the biggest damage. And that means we... What? Non-token. Oh my god. Of course it's not token. Four creatures, but each one of them is a token. Alright, let's go for this one. We at least solved this problem. So in some regard I'm happy I couldn't remove this one. Because I probably would. And that means the second fort will, would go through. Uh, so yeah, that, that might be... Man, my draws are not good. That's for sure. So. I think we sun for. That has to be the play. Yeah, I'm not sure how exactly we'll play this. And I, I think at this point we have to start doing cards. I will clear because I need more lands. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad, man. Uh, I honestly think we will activate this. Uh, because this way we can get the map token. And we really need a map token right now. A lockdown. Well, not the card for now. It would definitely be way better for the rest of the game, except the turn when we swept. So, really not amazing here. Sure. So, Jace will die, but at least we lost one of the map tokens, and we basically got an extra draw. Like, our hand is basically only lands, and that's a bit on the awkward side. Going face, so he doesn't want to waste anything from Jace. Especially that we cannot draw the card on this turn. And if not this forge, imagine like how favored we would be. Uh, but there is one. There is one. So I think we go Biza, right? And we still do not give up the meal plan. I think we can get there. Maybe. Just maybe. 
So we are getting back to 12. And th this has trample, so we actually need to start being aggressive. We can attack with one bird, but then we don't have the mana. So not yet. We will be able to heal a little bit and sweep the board at the same time, so that's good. But other than this, it might be a bit of a problem. This is a dance step, right? At the beginning of the next end step. Alright, so we would laugh to get Biza targeted with something that kills it. Perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, this is exactly what I wanted. And I don't need to even uh, gift anything. This is so good. Now they need to kill it at the instant speed and they probably cannot. Cool. That's a Sunfort on nothing and a token. That is a 0-0. Zero, zero. They still have this force, but we literally this you know disassembled everything else except this one fort. Uh, whenever one or more are uh, sure. So they will draw a card. What can you do? What can you do? We don't have tokens here. They do, they do. We get some life gain. We need to be super aggressive. I think we'll try to attack with Biza and a lot of birds and try to go for like two turn leaf far. Don't forget that we are life gaining. So, oh, Jace. I like the idea, but I think this is the one turn where it doesn't work. But we'll see, we'll see. Our opponent is full in full top deck mode, Mary. And here it comes, as always, to save the day. Okay, this is pretty huge. I think we just activate all the Anchorages and just go absolutely, you know, ham. Uh, otherwise we won't win in time. One. Two. And we cannot go higher than this. So that's nine damage, it's not nothing. And we use the double map tokens here because that guarantees that the next time the birds will be stronger. I prob I really don't want to hit the land. All right, lockdown is kinda meh, but at the same time it means that we pump both birds. Let's check the removal that they use. Three damage, and get lost. So we want to get uh, above three. Uh, toughness and now we can discard it after we know that we got all the value they still need to kill Biza and we can go potentially with triple bird so our opponent needs to really be aggressive and they have one card and one card only they can block some yeah I think they can survive right because we can deal six damage uh, on air and they can uh, use the Biza so it's not fully over not fully over unfortunate Man, we won against the forge and I think it was cast on like turn four or five. All right, let's talk about control. But first, I wanted to say thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and making it possible to be, you know, make the channel the best version it can be. So thank you. And about the control. Well, this is a hard one. Uh, honestly, I like the deck. I think it's good enough. Uh, we have, like, you can feel the difference between Memory Dush and Ritual. Scruton is a bit clunky. However, it can provide you, like, the value for the rest of the game. If you can tap once during the game and cast it for a maximum, you usually are set for life. And with Jace, we still get this nice win con of just instantly winning the game. However, I've learned that many games you just smark your opponent in face with Biza, the bounding spring. This has a lot of power, especially if fish tokens, especially if fountain port, and especially that you can put a counter and protect it. So it's actually a bit more resilient than normally. I really like the ritual into Biza, just because you get those tokens. And one of the big questions was always, how can we make something to bear gain? And the deuce seemed to be the best case, but now we have not only the deuce, but also Biza. And we also get double token, which means that we can chomp block, we can make a regular block with four, like hopefully for a trade. You know, four or five should be able to trade against one drops. I, I know I'm crazy, but it can happen. And you still get one extra fish. So this is a really good one. I wanted to trade this one. It didn't come into play somehow. Um, very expensive for a counter spell, but it can also be a value card like a far side ritual. So I'm kind of keeping my eye on this one. 
you know, high hopes. Uh, I didn't go for the Mirex because I kind of like the Fountain port with additional cargo, but you know, uh, we are yet about to figure out the correct split of Mirex and Fountain ports. I personally like this one more because it can be used defensively, but maybe it's my style. Maybe it's my style. You can also try to fit the third Jace if you want to be more aggressive, but I think with Biza and those tokens, you usually can close the game nicely. And yeah, I like the deck. I think it should be good enough. We will see. So far, it's probably the most competitive version I've been playing. I'm just not sure about this one. I kind of like the Long River Spool. It's always hard to not use No More Lies, but this one has a very serious upside in the late game. So maybe, just maybe. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of it for today. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow.